Saying to my horse, and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech as we get into the campaigns of Copper Tops Cannoneers. And last time, well, we uh, killed the Timber Wolf and I'm built a Savage face. Wolf, a phenomenal Savage Wolf, which is not a totally a hunchback to see on a bigger chassis with cooler stuff. It's awesome. All right, what are we doing? Oh, yes, this is a collect the samples game. So, where are the samples to be found? Right there. Where's the other one? All right, so we'll just set ourselves up along the path. Oh wow, we can be we can drop really close to the initial uh, sample group. That's beautiful. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'd like to spread you out a little bit. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. Max vehicles. Ought to be great. Then I'm stuck upon the stream is no bent in Confederation space. <laughs> they are. They left them. They were rethinking me that. Yep. Uh, as it would be shown in the first place. <laughs> Alrighty, who did we find? The concrete jungle. Lovely architecture they have here. The concrete jungle is indeed the, the best battlefield. Jungle, even the buildings are trying to kill you. Good to go, Commander. Alrighty, we have actually not seen the enemy, which is rather astonishing. I was expecting to run immediately into them, but that Moving is apparently up. not to be. So we're gonna Moving. secretly Position. sneak our way out here. Roger that. And the enemy will not be any wiser. Heading that way. The wax is going to slip along. Nice and stealthily. Hopefully we won't actually see anybody on turn. Oh, never mind. Roger I that. spoke too soon. What do we got? Who do we got? Oh there you go. What you got there, little buddy? What you packing? Oh, it's a Nova. Oh, it's the Gauss Nova. Might be a Hag Nova. In any event, it's a decent Nova. Commander. In terms of raw alpha, I do actually believe that the stock Nova Prime out. has the most potential damage. But that's because it's packing si uh, 12 ER medium lasers. If you ever wanted an excuse to ruin somebody's day, that's it. Copy that. Appropriate views in the parking lot? Exactly, see? Good to go. We're good Samaritans. We don't block the road. Timberwolf. Uh, I would love to... Oh, I can get a line of sight. Activating our sensors to reveal the rest of the map. Uh, we got a pack hunter. Yawn. Bandito. Yawn. Uh, unknown. And... Conjure. We have a conjure. Although the conjure will have some cool cool gear in it. And the Ryokan too, we have parts for. When somebody's day, burn yourself alive. <laughs> All part of the plan. Alright, so we are unfortunately on his ballistic side. But, I mean... Dude, bro. Dude, bro. What do I do? We knew that was coming. Critical hit, Commander. Little bit of toasting that's going along with that one. Turtle. Shouldn't be a problem. The Ryokan 2 is our current target of primary grabbiness. Uh, multiple Novas, though. Interesting. We might actually be able to build a Nova out of it. It's only a 50 ton Mac, and I'm not particularly interested in it, but hey. Bend itself for lots? Ooh, good point. Very good point. Reporting minimal Make some damage. money. Yeah. Et bon Jaguar. You are the king of the jungle. I don't know why I put on like a bad French accent for that every time I say that, but it's sort of becoming a part of the character now, isn't it? Slip the Evan Jaguar on forward, and what do you see? You see an adder with missiles, and eh, we'll bother with him later. You see a Nova. A Nova that is dying. Uh, let's contribute to that death. And he's falling over. That was the point. Because now I can bring the helicopters on over and they'll pick him apart. I do probably need another helicopter. Or two. Or four. Hey, it's a solitaire. Solitaires are another one of those small mech with big gun that the uh, game loves so much. Fire enemies, because the Evan Jag is dodgy with the three and stealth protected. Who's next? Copper Top. Huh? Copper Top might actually be able to get a shot here. Eh, not quite. Close enough, though. He'll just position Heading like so. Way. And then remove the building. 100 health. Okay, you will need to add a little bit of Gauss rifle pressure onto it, so just, uh, chill. There we go. Now it's out of the way. Large oh, heavy laser on the solder. Like uh, sometimes they also have PPCs. I'm not sure which one we're currently looking at. Okay, the vector zipping around the building. Waiting for orders. AWACS has it covered. 
Harris is actually going to attempt to shoot down the no helicopter. Shooting. Just running. Because we have accuracy bonuses that we'd like to use with the light AA missile rack. A lot of accuracy bonuses. Fire! Firing. Hey, we got him. We hit him with the missiles. I'm out of LRM. But that's okay. Because, well, actually, no, it's not super great, but hey, we'll, we'll deal with it. What are you? Oh, you're the conjurer. No! Not my Evan Jaguar. Leave him alone. He never did nothing okay, wrong to you. If you're bandit and your favorite fence tries to introduce you to his new buddy, run, you sell for more than your loot. That's good advice. I'd like to introduce you to my new pal. Uh, yeah, he's a bounty hunter. Yeah, bandit DC, so it's gonna have clan gear on board as well. So that could lead to some uncomfortable things. Still waiting. Who's moving on 18? That's the real question. Oh, the adder is. Adder's gonna fall back a little bit. Utilize that defense and attempt to kill the Holobolus. I can understand your fear of my giant cannon. But all you've done is made it so that I want to use that giant cannon on you. And I have to say, I don't think that it's going to end very well for you. You don't have a target here, but you do if you travel right there. So you will travel right there. I'll actually give you two targets. Take your pick. Uh, probably gonna shoot you. Oh, it was just a simple clan gauss rebel. Okay. Or the vector. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of warlord because we just want to make sure that we probably ruin this guy's entire life. And fire! I gave you some opportunity to be easy. I mean, he can bail out at any time. I'm not stopping him. I promise I won't even shoot him while he tries to run away. The broken tool! all of his ultra auto cannons luckily he's not all that effective right now so the effectiveness will come later but i do believe we have several real two parts and so that's what i plan to take advantage of target is ct we're gonna go for warlord again on this one because again i want to make sure that he dies before he can get up and hurt me and that's the kill so nova is gone Toodles. Now, that's only going to be one part, and that is going to sacrifice all the cool gear on board. But, I mean, I might do more to that Nova Prime. I like the Nova Prime more. I'm six and one half just another. So if we kill the Nova Prime effectively, we may actually be able to do some cool things to him. Yes, Commander. All right, Halopolis, uh, somebody has challenged your dominance of long range. And it is time yes, to demonstrate Commander. to them why that was a very, very poor life choice. Do you see that building? That building could be you. Yep. Don't tell him that we uh, that we kind of missed. Just let him believe that we were intimidating him. Fusion trying to pick up speed and failing because it's stupidly slow. I mean, it is stupidly slow. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, you're offline. Uh, let's make you hurt. Full fire. Like this. Nice. Oh, uh, why are you like sitting armor. so much? Because the I've terrain is dynamic no and ammo. it channels things around. So different city streets will bring you to different places. The buildings can be removed from the line of fire. It looks cooler. Uh, there's a lot of reasons to love fighting in the city. Most of them cinematic. And I'm a sucker for something that looks good. Oh, artillery. Interesting. Can I have your artillery? I happened right to bring here. all the scrap today, so uh, taking your artillery is absolutely on the menu. That, and we're gonna run forward. I'm not gonna quite be able to get the angle. See, I do have a direct line of sight here, I just can't turn enough to get anything with it. At this point. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. I got it. Don't think. Don't and the reason why I'm gonna just do that run. is I'm gonna make sure that this guy does not have a chance to respond. I'm gonna target his face. And that'll just force him over. Which, if we're super lucky, he may bail out. It's not gonna happen, but a man can dream. The more injuries that we put on him, the less likely he is to, to hang around. I would like to kill him without losing his arm, though. Uh, but what... 
What does it feel like after the battle of celebrating the bar where you've lived the whole neighborhood? Uh, it feels good. Uh, it feels fun. After all, you feel that sense of accomplishment having won a battle. And saved the city. I mean, sure, parts of the city are ransacked, but other parts of the city, totally fine. Urban renewal. Oh, the other's running away from me. Come back. Come back so I can introduce you to my heavy weapons. I showed you my sniper cannon. Please respond. Okay, Victor is going to... Wow, they're all kind of clustering together. It's a shame I don't have even more artillery. I need more artillery. Ooh, I wonder if I could mount twin snipers onto a savage wolf. That Ready might be forward. interesting. All right, coming on forward. We're going to start dropping some precision, long-range no heavy target. weapons on people. Specifically you and tag arrows, in case you were wondering. I'll throw on the warlord just to make sure. Tend to kill you. And you will not escape. Not this time. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Barrage dead on. We've got him. Waiting for orders. Timberwolf, you're a little bit toasty, but that's okay. We're, we're aware of your weakness this time. We're going to turn off one of the large, one of the large lasers. Uh, that way you can be more defensive. I don't want to fire only LRMs. I would like to engage with the majority of my heavy weapons. Unfortunately, the accuracy is garbage. Wow. Quad LB2. Like, even if they're clan, that's just a... You know, it's an anti-aircraft mech, I suppose. But I hate it. I think it's terrible. All right, looks like accuracy is not going well. The block is twin ATM-6s, so there is that. The Thor, so it is a thumper, so that's not too bad. Could be worse. I guess I'm going to have to shoot you, even though I don't want to. I'm going to target your other arm, and I'm just going to rain on your parade. And hopefully you don't take too much damage to your open arm, because I want to save it. Putting long toms, no engine, no arms. On that one. Ran to a crab to see with, Medusa, with a Medusa, two cast donners, an Epona, and a Sun Spider on a two skull mission. Two makes heavily damaged, but I live. Nice. Did you get the Sun Spider? I love Sun Spiders. Yeah. Shades like, what about my, what about my, what about my baby? What did you do to my baby? He probably destroyed it. Let's be honest with ourselves. <laughs> This is gonna suck, but I think it's worth it. Minefield! Hello, I Mr. C45. Welcome to the stream. Alright, the minefield is now all over the city. Everybody will have to walk through it. Hopefully not me, but, you know, sometimes you don't always get what you want. That Balak is absolutely ready to throw down. Twin ATM-6s is actually not a joke. I mean, we're packing an ATM-18, but still. I would like an ATM-24. Uh, huh? Give it to me. Iron. Alright, let, let's turn Big Iron into the biggest target in the entire match right now. Uh, had to ammo it to live. Company was half dead. It was a Medusa 3, but now I own three parts of a Vanguard Sun Spider. Nice. Sun Spiders are wonderful machines. You will not regret it. You're my only target, so I'm going to Warlord and see if I can't swat you out of the sky with really big projectiles. One hit. Two hit! Haha, -ha, he's dead. Stark with a quad ATM 12. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty fun. Although, couldn't you carry more than that? Hmm. I think you should be able to handle more than that. Twin ATM 12 and a pair of large or ER large lasers or something like that? That might be fun. Or heavy lasers. Basically, about heavy lasers on everything. You'll have a good time. There's only four slots. I mean, for other weapons. All right, bring forth the vedette. Oh god, if the vedette becomes the the carrier, then that would be terrible. No offense to the vedette, but uh, oh my way. Double you're time. not exactly known for being super uh, survivable. Copy that. Thud thud, off into the sky, into space. The enemy will never know what hit them. I mean, maybe they will, but by the time they figure it out, it'll all be over. Who is next? Enemy slowly taking the turn, trying to figure out exactly how they want to attempt to approach us. Bringing forth the solitaire with all his large, or with all his heavy lasers. Completely inaccurate, though. The spicy Medusa? Is that the plasma cannon one? Which is the one that you have with the, uh, the UAC-20 on it? The surprise Medusa. 
the I know you've never run into one of these before, but you're about to get messed up. So enjoy, Medusa. That one. I hate that one. That is the Medusa 3. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, you must have had the best time. <laughs> I remember the first time we ran into that. It was... It, yeah, it was painful for us too. Because we didn't like... We didn't realize because so, so many Medusas are missile slingers or like energy boats. I was like, oh, what's this? Oh, oh God. Because the first time we realized exactly what was about to happen to us was the moment when the AU Act 20 shells started hitting home. And at that point, it was kind of too late. And we suffered. But we learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> Always murder the Medusa. 24% sure we're not large, medium, and small. He's a whole rainbow family of lasers. That didn't hit. Got caught in, the, in water tiles by it. Ooh. But he cooked himself anyway. Ooh, nice. Bandit, here he comes. Trying to kill the fusion and failing. But now the Helopolis may go. The Helopolis cares for but one thing. And that is no murder. Solitaire's compensating. <laughs> I mean, he is a fairly small mech. I, I could drop artillery right on top of you, but if I do that, like, it'll clear the mines. I kind of don't want to do that. If I hit you with fire, how unhappy would you be? Theoretically? Hmm. I'm gonna try it. I want to add the sniper artillery, but that would kill him for sure. All right, Inferno, indirect, let it rip. Come on, break something. That's a kill. Okay, how did we kill it? That becomes the real question. Come on, stick, so I can scroll. Uh, right arm destroyed. Engine destroyed. Rest is adder hits. Ow, jerk. I think there's a chance we didn't actually fully kill that Nova. I'm gonna hope and pray that we didn't actually center torso kill him. And we just got him by crit. Uh Inferno rounds. So much sea bills gone. I don't know if he's dead though, that's the thing. Because it looks like he's only missing an arm. And if that's the case, we got some stuff. Uh, I have a Royal Griffin refit I'm for the clans that would make T fear themselves again. Wait, what? Right, and now we're going to chase after Mr. I'm a light scout mech. You're not allowed to shoot heavy weapons at me. Because guess what, buddy? Oh my god, am I seriously not going to be able to get a draw a line of sight to this man? He's evading me perfectly! <laughs> I am Both coming for you. You will not good. get away. Uh -huh. I just wish that I had multi-target. Right, instead, we're going to drop some high explosives right over top. Enjoy! I, him, I bet you didn't know where that was coming from. There we go. I don't want to have to deal with his missile shenanigans. Because his missile shenanigans is unpleasant. Although this griffin is also going to be, or conjurer, sorry, is also going to be unpleasant. Oh, he's targeting Big Iron! Of course he's targeting Big Iron. Big Iron's the one currently carrying the secondary asset, of course. Receiving you. Shade, how would you like to walk forward and blow somebody up? On the move. Full speed. Although, the, the Franken Timberwolf hurts me deeply on an emotional level, by the way. In case anybody's wondering. I don't think that they are, but like... <laughs> Why would you do this? Oh, interesting, actually. Um, yeah, fire. Here it comes. Hey, you hit him with that, and then you made him unsteady. And then you brought the building down. That was not the plan. Keeping the building up was actually part of the plan. Generating a lot of heat, Commander. Because if we'd kept the building up, it'd be easy to kill him. But with the building down, now we have to find him, and that's not going to be as easy or fun. Oh, it's still us. Orders? Hey, Wax, go hunting. Mainly just mess with the solitaire because I don't want to have to deal with getting hit by heavy large lasers. They're unpleasant and uncomfortable. There we go. 
Oh, did I fire a mine launcher? I'm out of SRMs. Wait, was that? Yeah, that was the AOX. I did fire the mine launcher. Interesting. Uh, I hadn't planned on it. We must have the wrong button. We are in again, absorbing fire, but his point defense system is more than capable of handling any amount of fire that they're going to be spinning at him. ATMs have that major uh, weakness in that? that if your enemy is providing any sort of point defense, your ATM is not going to be able to do anything. I love the weapon system, but I'm also very much aware of its weaknesses. We have a setup there, we're going to give ourselves a little vigilance for that protection, and then we're going to see if we can't pot a solitaire. Theoretically, yes. In actuality? <laughs> Double yes. Something just went boom. So, unfortunately, I believe his arm is useless. Oh, no, we took out the entire shoulder. So that's taken care of entirely. Oh, who is next? Who comes for me? So the solitaire has been basically neutered. <laughs> He's lost his, his heavy large and his heavy medium. He still has a heavy small, though. Alright, Fujin. Your gun is unjammed, and there's a poor, helpless um, thingamabob at her, just sort of sitting there, awaiting his death. I do need... I do need Clan LRM 20s. So what I'm going to need you to do is I'm going to need you to center core the center core. Or you can tear off his side. Yeah, that works too. Tango down. But I would have preferred if you center core but she said she still has a heavy small. I, I don't know why she would have a heavy small, but I'm not necessarily going to say no. I'll try anything twice. What else you got? Who are you bringing to this party? I'm going to artillery the absolute crap out of you. You haven't realized it yet, but pain is Ow! Oh, it's the Ryokin 2. Shoot, I didn't realize you were so close. Well, that weren't nothing. That was something. That could have hurt bad. Got yeah, movement out in sensor range. Got mines Ready scattered all over the place, too. T.I. Double Gus Screw you! That Solitaire is unsteady. We should be able to actually get a fairly nice shot on him. 69! Very nice. Uh, Clan PPC and Twin ATM 6 fits on the chassis without changing anything structure wise and leaves you room for the flexibility of Interesting. And that's on a griffin? Hmm. Alright, Videt, you're gonna join in the party that we're having that oh is just God. basically consisting of us trying to bully this poor little Salter who thought that he was gonna be cool. I mean, it was a neat idea to try that for the flank, but, I mean, you ran into a Videt, and that Videt is gonna take you. By the way, Snack that. Tech, notice that. The signs on the bus go Snack Tech. Okay, now comes the Thor, who did not Reporting. shoot because he's an idiot. Uh, but I will not complain too much about him being completely moronic. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be dropping on the on the conjure. Of course. Darn it. I would love to have lobbed a shell into there, but he might be too close. You on the other hand, hi. Uh, let's go standard rounds and enjoy the pain. Oh, that's gonna be a maximization right there and on to your back you go. Not bad, Daddy <laughs> In the future, the file formats for pictures will be .hpg. Uh, huh? Alright, Big Iron, I think it's time for you to get stuck in on things. Uh, hopefully without shooting your own people in the back, but I am willing to be somewhat flexible on that. Just do me a favor and don't. Nice, nice, I'll take it. There was a single hit out of four shots, but yeah. one of them was a Gauss Rifle, so I can't complain too much, can I? I mean, I could. I would like to boot, because that'll let me fire all my guns, and I'd like high explosives to fire at you, and theoretically, if I can get back here and do that, that would be twice as cool. I'll even throw on the Bolton Infernos. Uh, I am running through a minefield of my own making, but hey, sacrifices sometimes must be made. Hi. Boot. Ooh, melee. Engage! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scored a critical hit. Mm. SRMs are gone. Knocked him right over. Oh, you thought you was big and bad, but you had nothing. You had nothing. 
Now, now you're on broken too. We'll die. You see, theoretically, if I can take you somewhat intact, I would I would appreciate that. So I don't I don't know who I would speak to about like making sure of something like that, but we'd like you to consider uh, potentially not dying. No shooting, just running. Or at least like lo losing just your legs. I'll take just your legs. That would be fine. Johnny legs a lot. That's what they'll call you. Now, why didn't you have that leg instead of the other leg? Well, because the other leg has literally no health, so it's going to come off. Take that! This heat is cooking my internal structure. Worth it. Crap! The heat shut down my engine. Totally worth it. Okay, the Ryokin is having what we would call a bad day. I do need to knock off one leg, which will require 113. <laughs> no, leave me alone, Donner. Okay, good. That's fine. And me running out of risk MMLs to mount on it. My adder is now running twin ATM 9s with two tons of high explosive and one ton ER thanks to an involuntary clanner donations. Yes, Commander. I would disagree on the idea that the donations were involuntary. After all, you need to consider they were very happy to be outside of their mechs. All in ass. Thor artillery vehicle. This really won't affect it much, to be honest. Because inaccuracy in artillery is meh. Nah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of though, Fujin, if you wouldn't mind taking care of the conjurer, uh, you should be able to clean that up without too much without too much trouble. Target him, shoulder check him, make him hurt, and let him know who did it. There we go. Scored a critical Mr. Griffin wannabe. 18. Okay, no actual effort was accomplished, so that, that works for me. Print over here. Ooh, that does not show me what I want to see. Ah, because I'm so short, I can't actually see the target. No! Understood. Moving fast. Okay, so we can engage the aircraft. I mean, they're also up there, and they're also quite dangerous. Hi, Balak! You're moving incredibly slowly. Let me warlord this up just to make sure that you're going to have all the fun in the world. Because you deserve it. Popped. Pop goes Louise. Alright, so the block is now gone. And thus the threat of his ATMs. Uh, Le Vedette. Shall zip on over here and start to get to work on you. With his machine guns! It'll be brilliant. It'll be perfect. Also a warlord. So machine guns plus ultra auto cannon equals... 45 damage plus 2 and 6 or something. You have orders? Palopolis. Yes. My orders are to 1. Stand still. 2. Target the conjurer. And 3. I want him to know who it came from. Just to I send understand. a message. Okay, that landed super short. But that was mostly on target. Unfortunately, I wanted the reverse. Bandit hovercraft entering the minefield. Thor artillery vehicle. Again, doing nothing. Conjurer standing up. Hi, Conjurer. Do you, do you really want to be in your mech right now? Because I gotta say, uh, there's not much left to your mech. He's going to continue to engage, however, again, Big Iron's point defense system. Well able to protect everything that's going on right now. Broken 2 standing up on his single leg. Don't make me do this. I will kill you. Ooh, actually, I should get the AWACS over here. Wait, he's falling over again? Oh, because of the minefield. Bunk. Oh, the wounds. May the wounds continue to rise on you. Alright, hi. Uh, I could, you know, boot you and then shoot you, but that would probably kill you. Let's be honest with ourselves. You're not long for this world. Uh, you're also on the ground, which means I don't much care what you do. I'm going to just zip out over here and kill this conjurer. Yep. Also, you know, hiding myself behind a building, making it easier for my own people to blow things up. Could go for the Donner, but of course not. Hello! Do I need... I don't think I need high explosives. I think we just need good old-fashioned standards. Mainly because I want to save my high explosives for a rainy day. And fire! And wait for it. And... Conjurer taking care of in epic style. The Seven Jaguar doing the work. Doing all of the work that it needs to do. What's up, boss? AWEX, continue your insanity. Hello. I'm over here. I'm jamming you. 
I'm also marking you out as a really easy target. So you may want to consider that before you die. More pain. Beautiful. What's that? Big iron, yes, indeed. I would like you to get a direct line of sight on a target because I want you to attempt uh, attempt to kill him. But properly. I, I would prefer it if you did not, like, rip open his main center, torso, or blow off his leg. I want just the leg gone. So, plus one accuracy, plus ten clustering roll modifier, plus ten percent called shot multiplier, uh, three turn cooldown. I'm gonna warlord it, see if I can improve my chances of only hitting that leg. Forty percent is not good. Fire away! Come on, take just the leg, take just the leg, take just the leg. Was it just the leg? Both legs, yeah! That'll be three parts on the field. I believe we have two parts of a Ryokan currently sitting in our, our mech lab, so that would be perfect. We'd be able to build the whole mech, mech right from that. Yeah, Commander. Timberwolf, restart. Ready to go. Wow, I've been pushing your heat way too high. I've been pushing your heat way too high. See, that, that's a that's the more like deep philosophical question that I think I need to answer sometime soon. Is why do I keep shoving his heat to the point where he overheats? It seems unsafe. Oh, yes, we've cleared out all the mechs over here. Now it's just the vehicles and the helicopters, of course. And Big Iron should be able to handle that without too much trouble. You know, alongside the Timberwolf that is now active and able to fight people. We're getting there. We're getting there. Bit by bit. Who is next? Bounce. Okay, I go over that. Made a bounce. As long as he comes a little bit closer to me, but not too difficult to hit, I can work with that. It's hard to <laughs> bring a little warmth. What was my last mission? Nah, that was Shade's fear. How might I help? I seek to bring joy to the children. To you, the citizens of this city. I'll be two. Yawn. Uh, sure. Inferno, high explosive. What could go wrong? Target confirmed. I don't even know where he is. Oh, we got close. Sort of. Too many clan omnis, you're going away from the season's theme of Capellans. I did not say that the theme was Capellans. I said that the theme was tanks that we it, that we started in to see where we could go from there. Besides, the Ryokan 2 is not a clan omni. Alright, Tiger. Copy that. Go get him, Slugger. You can do it. I believe in you. Roger. Perhaps I was wrong. To what do you need? Oh, back angle. Back angle shots are totally in right now. Why do I lose it the moment I click? Oh, there it is. Okay. Take it. Let's move. Blind pellets. <laughs> oh, possibly. What? I'm not allowed to fire my wrist rotary cannon at him? That feels wrong. But okay. No, and... Hmm. I don't necessarily think that it's worth it firing at that. Hey, we got a hit. The bandit now feels the pain. Wasn't there a double gauss demi in tabletop? Has it made it into Rotec? I don't know what a demi is. But I would imagine that just about anything you can imagine in tabletop is probably in the game now. In terms of, like, mech design and stuff like that. And a whole bunch of things you had never even considered. Bandito gonna run. He's afraid of the damage he's taken now. Oh, Demolisher? Yeah, I'm sure there's a Twin Gauss Demolisher. There's a Twin Gauss yeah. Demolisher. That's a lot of fun. And by a lot of fun, I mean run. Run as fast as you can. And never look back. Affirmative. Set up right so. Mr. Donner, attack helicopter. Your day has come. ATMs. And Gauss. And there he goes. Uh -huh. There's a rack equivalent Gauss in front of kind of one. <laughs> yes, there is. The rotary Gauss cannons are ridiculous. All right, let's go see if we can support everybody over here now. And the Rokin 2 will be our prize, which will be a grand prize. Shade, run, flee, speed. Going full throttle. We got what? Three targets remaining. One of them is a Thor. That's going to take forever to crack. Just because of the way the Thors are armored. They're armored better than most tanks. It's kind of crazy. Uh, sure, just start lobbing Artemis missiles. 
You got eight more rounds of combat. You should be fine. I have the twin gauss in my playthrough. Can't do anything with it. Good to twin go. gauss is brilliant. You just need to bring the right weapon systems to the table. Can't do that. We just we must move faster. That can't see a target, so that doesn't fly. But that does. Going full throttle. Hi, are you going to continue to chase after me? Because I gotta say, it's probably not your most brilliant suggestion ever. Locked on, rear armor. There he goes. He's gonna be the center of his own little artillery brush. Waiting for orders. Basically, needs to swing the entire Going company around. Right Should I not mention the Society Alcorn that's coming soon? <laughs> well, the Alcorn normally has triple Gauss rifle. Then there's a fun version that's double Gauss rifle and a Hag 40. Then there's another fun version that is nothing but Hags. So, really, Alicorns are already plenty scary. I can't imagine the Society able to do anything that makes it even more deadly. On full auto, it kills an assault mech in one volley, but it jams a lot. <laughs> Worth it! Shade being evil for noobs. Yep. Ah, uh, good. Now I can attempt to murder you. With facts, logic, and giant shells. That's really the main thing, actually, if we're completely honest with ourselves. Like, we can pretend like it's like something cooler, but it's not. It's the heavy weapons. Awaiting Next, Helopolis. Helopolis don't need to move for nothing. Lablis does not care for your petty ideas of movement and maneuver. We'll just sit here and lob fire. Yeah, I don't know where that was going. But that looked like it got close. So I'll take it. Uh, the Vedette is going to need to maneuver around a lot of things. Get out of the corner, Vedette. Back to the road. Has it anything to do with a society BAZ? What is a BAZ? You have me interested, sir. To be fair and accurate, it's probably less dangerous than the Hag Alicorn, but it has a longer engagement range. It's Tween Long Tom! You heard it here first, folks. Tween Long Tom Alicorn. Because that's what you need in life. You just didn't know it. I once built a twin sniper direwolf, which was pretty interesting. So it is a Ah, the artillery. It was a miss. It was a total complete miss. Ooh, the Evan Jag is not not a happy camper. Um, all right, we're gonna get you out of here. Location confirmed. How was that? How bad was it? Okay, good. You, uh, you took nine structure damage from that mine, so yeah, you're pretty much out of this fight. You're just gonna provide your anti-tank missiles. Actually, no, they're advanced tactical missile. Yeah, just just start. Twin long gun alcorn. Triple sniper hits an alcorn. It needs to continue with the three, the three cannon design. Anything else would just be ridiculous, right? I don't have a PPC, and I need one. P three. Oh, that's not terrible. I mean, I'm not going to shoot one of the large lasers because I don't need that kind of an accuracy. But other than that, hey, you might die. Wow, we hit it with a large heavy laser. I love it. Not much in terms of missiles, but hey, what you gonna do? We work in small portions here. Eventually to build into wildly successful Understood. maneuvers. Moving fast. This triple sniper will take up the time. There's a twin sniper Helopolis that has a great gyro. <laughs> if we can find it. Target acquired. Mr. Hunter is uh, under huh? pain. And this mech is direct fire weapons Heavy only, so it's gonna take him a little while to actually get into the fight. Didn't he at one point have ATMs, or were we just considering putting the ATMs on him before the Ebon Jag was born? Come back here! We want to give you a gift. Mm. Yeah, I can get there. Pick up the next pilot, maybe force them out, but we do want to make sure that we kill the Thumper before that happens. Because I'm worried about losing the leg on my own mech. Yes, Commander. Next! It's going to take time. Swing an entire Roger. company on over there. Well, three quarters of the company. Two thirds? Yeah. Two thirds. Yeah. Yeah, Pujin, your gun still runs. I would like you to murder. Copy that. Please. Please. Pretty please. The cherry on top. Ice cream in the middle. 34%? Are you kidding me? Fire. 
clinking at him every single round instead of like unloading hell on him. Your accuracy is garbage, and I don't know why. Vedette, to the front. To the minefield. Bang. Explosion. What's the plan? And Helopolis, who of course does not care, and is just going to impart joy. The pack hunter. Hello, little pack hunter. As you I wish. didn't forget about you. At all, as you can see. <laughs> there we go. Just a wash in a sea of fire. <laughs> He's also missing his ERPPC. The pack hunter is not particularly useful anymore. Dude, if I were you, I'd just eject. Give me give me the rest of the equipment on your Mac. It'll be fine. I promise that I won't kill you. Probably. I mean I won't, but. Thor running away, of course, as always. Is he just out of ammo or something? Hey, Ebon Jag. Ebon Jag is going to move right here outside the range. Oh, while also not walking on any mines. And then just continue with the ATM support. Guess I'll give it to him then. Who is that gonna be? That's a wheel on steady. Time to hit that objection. Uh, Ander? I don't think he's going to have the chance. Through the mines, because the Timberwolf does not care. Is that 22 damage? Uh, it was 22 armor damage. Jeez. Landmines explode, man. They explode big. I could go for the maximum destruction, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Uh, RNG is a pity on me for incapacity to happen. Max gave me a two skull for max money with a centurion and three javelins that didn't get to spot me before they died. <laughs> nice. Gotta make that money. Uh, huh? Will anybody be able to get involved? Uh, actually, yes, absolutely. I don't know who I'm targeting. I think the Thor, but... Yes, it is indeed the Thor. Okay, we're gonna Warlord it. Adding a little bit more oomph into our twin gases. And let's fly. I know it was a 47 and a 50, but I just kind of, like, dreamed that it would be a little bit more accurate than that. I suppose I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. Double time. Let's go. All right, Thor, enjoy. Firing an enemy. Hey, we tagged him. Now it's going to be even easier to murderize him. Hey, Fujin, do you think you can hit the broadside of a barn yet, or, or are we still like just plinking slowly but surely onto a target Bugging that out. should have died a month ago? Ugh. Why? He's tagged. He's not in cover. He's just sitting there. Why does he have so much protection? The pain. The pain is real. Good to go. All I want to do is just fire that gun at maximum rate and I can't. Got it. No shooting, just running. 13. That'll be the bandit. The bandit and then the Thor. I share actually a 13 with him. Yes, run little bandit. I shall take you down. I could just drop on you. 32, 42. Okay, let's let's see if we can hit you with some fun. Good to go. One and that went long. That went dead on. The heat doesn't really do anything aside from the extra damage that it does because it's fire based. But other than that, uh, Inferno was less impressive against vehicles at this current time. Ow! Protect that secondary asset command. Wow! It's taking fire. Finally, actually hit something with that. I'm listening. Uh, Evan Jag, you're just gonna continue your your long range fire support duties. Fire! Th oh, this is actually your last ATMs. Enjoy. Oh, the trigger. Mm -hmm. All right, we're out of ATMs. No more long range shenanigans. All out of long range missiles. Uh, huh? Copper top got nailed by that, but it didn't actually cause that much damage. It was the best possible outcome. Heading that way. Targeting you. That'd be a good shot, or you. That'd be a better shot. Uno dos, and that's penetration, but I bet it's the turret. Receiving you. But you want to bet it's the turret? Oh no, he's actually open on the front. Holy crap. Impressive. Good job. Credit to everybody. We managed to open up the thumper on the front. 
With Gauss rifles. Who would have thought the Gauss rifles could do such a thing? Got it. Yeah. We didn't break anything. Not anything important there. Timberwolf! You have one target and one target only. Yes, that is him. He didn't maneuver, so now he's all kinds of vulnerable. Uh, again, I don't think I'm going to need the full might. Why do only use the one? No more Thor. It's only a thumper, though, so I'm not super excited about the cannon. And the sniper yep. would have been more interesting. Oh, you managed to jam your gun on a bloody double tap. Nord, really? Why? You gotta give me better than that. I expect and demand better than that. Copy that. Link and miss, of course. Reporting. And then Pyro. Oh no, it's the Holopolis. One more target. Just gotta kill him and we're all done. Aside, of course, from like, collecting the sample, but I've got a dude. Wow! <laughs> this just turned Reporting. him into nothing. Vehicle destroyed. Ready for orders. Yes, Commander. Standing by. All right, get out of the minefield. Position confirmed. Brace. Commander. Brace. I'll keep my heat down. Start from the top. Ah, uh, Commander. Walk that Ebon Jag into the circle, and we are done. Stabilizing and bracing. Roger. Venting heat he does decent, it does do decent damage to the vehicles. But you don't get to see that red bar just go whoosh into the atmosphere as you barbecue the last of their assets. It's glorious. It's glorious when it happens. Oh, it's some of the cool stuff. What do we got? Show me the money pile. Remember, we're looking at the Ryokan. If there's three parts, we're grabbing those three parts because I think we've got two. Um, the Nova is also potential to get a mech because I think we've got... Four? Yeah, we blew up the legs. Mm, we've only got four parts probably for the Nova, I think. Unless we got really lucky. Minus 71,000, you crooks. Stealing my money. Could you do this? Evan Jag is gonna need a little bit of tender love and care because uh, that leg got opened, which is not grand. Could have been better. The beep beep force shutdowns to make our music. Right. Yes, yes it is. Alrighty, yeah, that's enough to build a Nova. And that is the three parts of the Ryokan that we were looking for. Uh, ATM 9s? Tempting. I've already got two. I have no ATM 6s, but I'm not really interested in them. The ammunition I would be much more interested in. Pair of LB2 clans. Ugh, why? Like, it's four tons, sure, but it's 25 damage. I, I don't I don't get it. I do need that LRM 20 clan can build and fix the mech off of it, although I do need to check those ammos. Uh, convict cells, blah 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 blah, Pharaoh, blah blah blah. Guardian ECM is lovely. Clan heatsink kit, I, I could always use more of those. <gasps> Mask clan! Damn! <laughs> I'm I need that mask clan. I need it badly. Sally LLRM20. Frankenmech must continue. I don't like Frankenmech, but uh, it is what it is. Give it to me. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's painful. What kind of ammunition are we looking at? Uh, only one ton of ATMHE. I'm kind of good right now, so I'm not going to go into it. But yeah. Yes, you do. All right, let's see what we got. Got a bandit, the conjurer, a part to the pack hunter. Uh, we did get an ATM-9, which was like, we got the 20. Thank you. Uh, let's see, quantity 2 SRM4, boring, 255 engine is cell bait. Got the guardian, yes. And the patchwork materials. The only thing that could have been better is if we had managed to pick up the clan cooling too. But I'll work with this. I'll work with this happily. Ah, the Savage Wolf will need yet another redesign. <laughs> because we have better equipment for it. Uh, can't headshot a moving target with offensive push. Try a headshot capable FCS. This is true. Uh, you can't actually headshot things normally. You need to incapacitate them in some way. Unless you have the headshot, which then you can go nuts with it. The Clan Mask, that'll be fun. Uh, if I remember correctly, Command Mask is harder to use than Inner Sphere Mask, 
but the weight savings is beautiful, so we'll just have to make sure that whoever drives that thing has pretty good piloting. So who will, who likes really big cannons? All right, we're gonna be broke. Watch, it's gonna cost us like a hundred and something thousand at least, and that's gonna make us broke. A hundred and two thousand. It's really not bad, but we did make negative one hundred and seventy something thousand, which puts us in debt, which puts Darius in this perpetual loop of telling me that I'm in debt, to which I can respond to Darius. Darius, and no, you don't need to tell me. Alright, uh, do my MacBook, please. I need to do things. There are no, many no, things no, that must be done. First and foremost, uh, we need to look at the storage in order to get ourselves out of debt. And we need. Oh no. Really? I sold them? God, I'm a moron. I sell the pack under, I have no interest in the pack under. Darius, shut up. Uh, I'm already unhappy, Darius. Our nest egg is just about gone, Commander. Valleys, I need the light carriers. I want the effort. I want the conjure. I don't need. But thank you for your We're interest. We're broke, Commander. Uh, the bandit. The bandit will sell for 157. Beautiful. That'll make me some money. Uh, the Hitatsu. Uh, so the Hitatsume Koto is specifically for Kyogre. So we're keeping it. Uh, Darius, take his scrap, his mech scrap, and stuff. <laughs> We must have sold the Ryokan parts. Why does it say that every time your money changes? Because the game doesn't really realize that you can go easily broke quickly. Terror's worst enemy is Terror. I know! The Fiend! He outsmarts me at every turn, thwarting my every desire. Ah, uh, but we'll have the Ryokan parts. I'll keep them for now. Uh, apparently, yeah. It's a, it's a battle mech, isn't it? So I can work with that pretty nicely. 75 ton Ryokan. Don't really like it, gotta be honest. But it'll serve as the platform for other mechs that we'll build someday. Dear worst enemy is the accounting department. I am the accounting department. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, there's really not much else for me to do for preparations, except for fix the savage wolf. Uh, yes, indeed, give me back my million sea bills. And uh, back to the refitting of the savage wolf. This time we'll make sure to include all of the cockpit systems that it will need. Still not done with the repair job, which is why things are still being put in. Excuse the mess, please. All right, back to the AC-20s. Because they're beautiful. Ammunition, even more beautiful. How can you say no to eight tons of ultra auto cannon shells? Are they not gorgeous? Uh, I also will need nothing else for the weapons department. Uh, from the equipment department, though, I will definitely need an exchanger and some stealth armor. Can't put the stealth armor just in because I didn't do the other stuff. Arc sheath beacon. Now I can put the stealth armor in. And then targeting computer for that ballistic range bonus. A 15% increase in range on the ultra auto cannons. That'll be very nice. Heavy pharaoh. Yep, we'll get to it. We will indeed get to it. Uh, multi track. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Cockpit systems. I don't need any of these, but what I do need is the gunnery support A, which will be lovely. Uh, we will need the clan mask. Whoosh. It's gorgeous. And is that all I need in the. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the stealth armor. I think that's everything I need in that category. Up to internals. We need that heavy feral clan. We're still 1.2 tons overweight. What can we do? Gyro XL. That puts us at one ton remaining. So with that one ton remaining, we can armor this sucker. <laughs> so let's get to work putting her up to a decent armor value. Because I don't want this thing to explode the first time someone looks at it or gets behind it. Probably do need a little bit more back armor. I hesitate to do such a thing, but I think it may be necessary. Slightly overweight. There we go. Um, hmm, at that point, I think we're good. I don't think I'm missing anything. So, the gunnery support, the ballistic target computer, the arc sheath beacon. Enough ammunition to run the two ultra auto cannon 20s. We've got the stealth systems. We've got the gyro XL on board, which is the correct gyro. Back armor saves you from, from your teammates. <laughs> Slick sweet for the piloting bonus. Why would we need a piloting bonus, though? Like, piloting doesn't give me anything. I need gunnery. I need to hit things. You have a parts. 
Depending on what that means. Hey, Pharaoh, Clown, Gunnery Axe, and XL Jarrow. Yes, indeed, they are mounted and ready to rock. I really don't think that a piloting... Oh, right, for the, um... This looks sweet for the piloting checks on the mask, right? Because mask has piloting checks. Or is it guts checks? Does anybody know? Uh, you do have that weight savings thing here. Started at 3.15 p.m. The internal, oh god, I can't remember what it's called. What's the patchwork materials? I concur. We should throw on the patchwork materials here one. That'll be the last, oh, almost the last. I have one more armor space remaining. All right, uh, let's punch it up. Can't go that far. Gives me a little bit more. Mask is piloting checks? It is piloting checks. So the slicks we may actually be not a terrible idea. I'm hesitant on it because these ultra auto cannons are going to be one hell of a thing to keep running. Um, but yeah, you're right. It may be a good idea. Piloting and tactics for an SLDF cockpit. Unfortunately, the bug is back where you can't see the actual description of stuff. So you have to rely on what's written here. Slick Suite doesn't actually give you a piloting bonus according to this. Although it does have an integrated C3 command helmet. That's not bad. Do we have recall fingers for the arms? Those would take weights, so the answer is no. Um, but SLDF cockpit would give us a piloting tactics bonus. Which could not necessarily be a bad thing. Six suit would give us a sensor range bonus. The the C3 though would be fun. The bug is solvable, right? Yeah, I know it's it's solvable by restarting. The problem is like stopping to restart your entire game. Uh, it takes a while to load it back up. <laughs> so we can't do it during the stream. I'm losing a 5% accuracy bonus. Ish. You can't put lower arm actuators, unfortunately, for guns. It gives piloting. It does give piloting? Okie dokie. Then Slick Sweet it shall be. Don't make it. Slick Sweet, likewise, gives tactics and piloting. Correct Tech Beef says Slick is piloting. So if you trust the wiki. I do not, but I do trust Shade. Sorry, Shade, I don't trust the wiki. Good frontal armor. Decent leg armor. Okay-ish back armor. Not great. Um, some pretty nice firepower. And nice and chill. And a little bit of stealth, just because every so often, you just want to screw with somebody. Oh, are you kidding? Please tell me it'll just confirm it anyway. Okay, it'll confirm it and it'll give me negative cash. Which is fine. I can work with that. Um, hmm. I keep you for people. I'm gonna need to take a mission for money. <laughs> now the only reason I have the SM2 F FSV is because it is a long time and I don't want to lose a long time. So let's go to the store and sell some stuff. Big gun, big money. Indeed. Now we're poor Kenny. <laughs> That's how we roll. Oh, there's also an AC-20 carrier, in case anybody's looking for one. I mean, I don't know why you would, but hey, it's up to you. Do you have 55 rate infusion core? Yeah, we're kind of out of that, so you can have it. Give me 110,000 seabills, and we will go our own ways, and we'll never see each other again. It'll be great. Speaking of, 11 days for the Savage Wolf, and then everybody else should be ready in... Let's see. Yeah, three days. Three days we'll be ready to rock. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro for the peoples. And that makes everybody happy. Lovely. Oh, we're, we're totally broke. None of this has a face record like a stealth WX-20 mech. Uh, you actually have time to earn this month's expenses. Could cold storage and sell the 50-ton Hellhound? Uh, there's, there would be, if we're just going to sell it, there's no point in just cold storing it. You can sell it right from your, from your initial thing. It'll strip everything off of it. I don't necessarily want to do that just yet. Um, because it was a gift and it would be rude. But at the same time, I kind of agree. I don't think the Conjurer can fit in our lineup anymore. It's a little bit too light. Hey, Nordicon, finally! Alrighty, we're gonna give him... Controlled Bursts. Eh, mm. The plus one accuracy is nice. This is the clustering roll. But the minus 20% jam chance... <sighs> Who cares if you jam? You gotta hit the target. 
Uh, it was a gift to be rude proceeds to put it out of the Yeah, I only took off the exchanger, and I do intend to put an exchanger back on it. Someday. We just need the time. Hey, Shade's a level up. Congratulations, Shade. You're a 10, 9, 8, 10! One of my best pilots, actually. Confirmed. Stormwind doesn't need anything to leak. No, yes, no, no, no. Oh, speaking of which, one thing that we can do, and I'm really happy about it now, is, and we're not going to do it just right now. We'll do it at some point in between planets. It's not bad enough to need to deploy on the light side unit, though. Uh, but we have enough to get rid of this MRM-20 and replace it with the far more svelte and beautiful clan LRM-20, which will save up so much weight that we can do things with. I want it. Could we have a stealth on this thing? That'd be pretty interesting. Bolt on our head. We have not been using any of these because most of our mechs are not humanoids. But yeah, eventually we'll we'll get the Timberwolf back into its original camber, which will be nice. It's a Vage roof with its The Savage Wolf only has missiles on it, yet it only shows guns. Alright, let's find another mission. We need to make a little bit of money, some cash. We're actually good on most other things. So, money is the name of the game. Capture base? Eh, 1.6 million. The payout is pretty good, too, in terms of salvage. Who are we fighting? Local government? Eh, uh, hmm. Local government can have an interesting mix, including clan mix. A target acquisition I don't want to do, but it may actually not be the worst plan in the universe. But we are running out of low-level missions to take for cash, so... Yeah. The money. You can get a lot of weapons, though, on missions like these. 4 of 19. Uh, you know the computer you're using is not good enough when it takes 5 minutes per unit playing PTA. There's like a 40 second limit. By the way, hi, Greybeard. Uh, do the test drive? The, the test drive is on a different planet. I would have to travel 14 days to Vestalis. That would give me 4 days to finish things. So. Take one option, one salvage. Yeah, but you lose so many sea bills if you do that. Like, 300,000. That's our drop cost. Solaris 7 for the cash, when possible, of course. So, I actually, I, I looked where we were. Sorry, this is going to be a little bit of an aside. I did look where we were so I could find the planet. And we, Kittery is down here, which means Terra is up here. Although you can't bloody find it because they conquered it. Uh, which means it should be somewhere over here. Dilo, Athena, don't know where it is. Yeah, there's Galatia, and Solaris is right by Galatia. In the neighborhood at the very least. Anyway, we're going to put a cut in here for YouTube, so to my YouTube people, thank you very much for watching. I have been Tarek. If you like what you've been saying, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see notifications every single time I always send these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.